Hey guys, welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. Today we're talking medians. There's so much statistics out there when we're talking about property and finance, and sometimes it can be quite confusing. So I'm going to focus today and explain a little bit more about what the median value actually is, especially in comparison to, um, to average values. Now, you're in for a little bit of a treat here because you're about to witness some significant art. I'd like to think it's Van Gogh, but the reality is it's probably more Ken Doan. So let's jump over and have a look at this. So I'm going to take you through the top is representative of all of the house sales in a particular suburb for one month. If I start down here on the right, you'll see there's a whole range of products, 200, 200, 200, 250 is what that one sold for, someone overpaid, 350, 400, 400, this one was 600, really cute dog came with it, a million bucks, 1.6, and then the granddaddy at $2 million, then that's because it's got a pull. So you can see there a whole host of different colours and quite a um, variation in prices. So if we wanted to work out the median um, uh, value of the property or how a median would be worked out and represented at a particular month, you go and take the midpoint. And the midpoint here would be this property, 400,000 bucks. So quite interesting. If you look at the median there and you go, okay, well, there's some, high, there's some outliers there and there's a, a couple of outliers there. $400,000, is that they, uh, a median is the typical representation of a house price in that particular suburb for that particular month. In comparison, if we were to take the average, if I was to add all of the values of those properties up and then divide it by the number of properties there, I would actually get an average of 690 grand. And that's realistically why medians are more um, uh, are preferred because they're more representative of the typical value of the property sold in that particular month. It gets rid of the outliers. So there's quite a discrepancy there. Now, the interesting thing to note though, guys, is, okay, I could go to this same suburb the next month and let's say there was twice as many properties sold. Um, or let's say there was the same amount of properties sold, but this ended up being the actual midpoint. Now, if that was the midpoint the following month, or even in a year's time, that's a 200 grand increase on that. That's like 50% growth. Now, the reality is you wouldn't, that, that's why when you're looking at medians or looking at any statistical data, the longer the period of time, the better, because there's more data that evens out and gives you a more representative figure. Let's have a look at suburb two. And suburb two, dull, dreary, just a whole host of very similar properties being sold and they're all black. And if you, have a look at, if you have a look at this, yes, there's more of them. The middle point, the median on this particular one was 510,000. And when you look at the bottom end, 300 grand, and you look at the top end, 880, it really does represent, of, um, I suppose, the, the middle point uh, of those property values. If I was to do the same thing and take out and work out the average, you'd be 545. So you can see the gap there between the median and the average is a lot smaller than what the gap is between these two. So I hope that explains in colourful terms and pretty pictures the difference between median and average and, and the fact that you've got to be careful when looking at any type of data, especially median prices, because unless it's over a longer period of time, you can still get discrepancies that may be misleading. Uh, jump onto our website, I encourage you to do this. We've got a whole range of reports. We use Residex as our source of data. So if you're wanting to get an understanding of what the median house price or the median unit price is in your particular suburb or one that you may be looking to invest in, I encourage you to jump on, download one of those reports um, and it will give you some, some better insights. And if you've got any queries or questions off the back of, of having a look at those reports, we'd love to have a chat. Catch you soon.